It's a Supreme Court decision that was made more than 25 years ago, but it has haunted our state ever since. In Quill versus North Dakota, the court ruled that if a business doesn't have a brick and mortar presence in the state, it doesn't have to pay sales tax. Molly Martinez is here to explain why a change could be on the way. Molly? Monica, when the court ruled on this case in 1992, people began shopping through catalogs instead of storefronts. At the time, Tax Commissioner Heidi Heitkamp noticed the shift. And how they knew that they were losing business to catalog sellers was people would come in with the catalog, look at the product, um, ask people about the pricing, and then walk out and order it um, online, or not online at the time, but order it um, through the mail. The stakes are much higher now with the demand of e-commerce. Mm -hmm. Tax Commissioner Ryan Rauschenberger estimates the state loses $45 million of biennium as a result, but there could be relief. The court will decide as early as tomorrow whether to hear the case.